Welcome back to the Lexi's Leukemia channel. Today we're going to get my poke. So as Lexi said, we are on our way to the big hospital to get her poke, AKA labs. That's what she calls getting an arm blood draw. And then we're gonna see our oncologist for the final time. Um, that's weird to think about. We've been at the oncology clinic all this time, so we're still gonna be at the clinic. It's just um, next time we go, we'll uh, transfer over to the survivorship side of things. So it's still in the same spot. It's just the survivorship part because she will be three years off treatment officially so she only has to go now after this appointment for labs every three months and they'll be looking more for late effects and anything that might have affected her um, post treatment that might creep up later on in life and she'll be followed by the survivorship clinic until she is 18 years old so crazy to think about but let's get on the road it took us forever in the parking garage they have most of one level completely blocked off for construction we are parked all the way at the top at level seven and we barely found a spot now there were spots on other levels the problem is when people park outside the line and their tire is over that yellow line you cannot park in the spot next to them and so that is a waste of a spot so please if you are parking in a parking garage make sure you fix your car so that you're parked inside the lines and be considerate to others so they can park next to you people like us who are on a time crunch greatly appreciate it so now we've got to take level seven all the way down to level two on the elevator and then get off that check it and go all the way up to floor nine so let's get going <music> Okay. Down. Do you want to hold my hand? So, do you have any plans today? Mm. Where are we going tonight? Tell them. To a Kanye's 
Very cool. We won tickets to a Cardinals game for a fundraiser for Children's Miracle Network. Oh, awesome. My husband, we both work for Walmart, and it was like the campaign was through June at Walmart. So uh -huh. they did a bunch of fundraisers. And since Lexi used to be a CMN ambassador, we always like to support that. That's a really good cause. So he won a Cardinal raffle basket that had tickets to tonight's game in it. That's awesome. And she already had this appointment today, and we let her miss the whole day of school just because... By the time we get back across the river and get lunch, she'd have maybe two hours of school left. So yeah. we're so like, well, this day. can be your special treat, and it's a school night. We may not stay for the whole thing. I doubt she'll last very long, but we might stay an hour or two. I mean, the tickets were free, right? We won them in the raffle, so. Still fun to go and just yeah, good job. be there for a little You're bit. You're doing so good. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. So, Look I have a really important question. I have two really pretty band-aids, which is Ooh. bright pink, or I have a sparkly one. Sparkly. Sparkly. Sparkles. You did so good. That was so quick. I'm so cool. impressed. Did the Buzzy Bee help? Yeah. We didn't do that last time, did we? We haven't done that the last couple of times. We don't always see Mr. Tyler. We just got Lexi's poke, and you did so awesome. Show him your arm. What band-aid did you pick out? A pretty sparkly band-aid, of course, for my sparkly princess, right? And you did so good. Who do we see out in the waiting room that helped you? Who was that? Mr. Tyler. Mr. Tyler, and who did he have with him? Casey. He had Casey, the chocolate lab, the therapy dog that comes sometimes with him. And Mr. Tyler could tell she was a little anxious. She gets that way sometimes for her poke. It's leading up to the poke that's worse than actually getting the poke. So he asked if Mr. Casey could come and sit next to her while she got her poke to provide some extra support. Did that help you, Lexi? So Mr. Tyler was there and Mr. Casey was there and they did something this time called the Buzzy Bee. They do that sometime during port access or during your pokes when you're getting an arm draw or a shot or something. Um, the buzzing is supposed to help take away any pain that you might feel and also kind of distract you. So did the Buzzy Bee help, Lexi? Yeah, I didn't even feel it. That's awesome. Great I just job. Like coming in a little bit, going in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. So now we're just waiting on the oncologist to come in for her final oncology checkup. And then I think they said last time that we're gonna meet the team from survivorship today. So we know what that'll be like whenever we come back in three months. So, we'll see you in a bit. So, Lexi just saw the oncologist, and he said everything looks great. And, great news, I was able to finally, finally hear back from dentistry, and we got her dental surgery appointment scheduled um, the last Wednesday in October. So, the last Wednesday of each month for her school is going to be early out days. So... That works out perfectly that she's not going to miss much school because they're going to have early dismissal at like 1240, but they really start at like 1225. So I was like, okay, so that works out well. So she'll only miss the morning. They probably won't do too much, I would assume, on an early out day. So we are thankful to finally have that surgery appointment scheduled. So they told us the only thing we have to do is a month prior to the surgery. It has to be in the month leading up to it. You have to have a physical since she's undergoing general anesthesia, which I don't know, I guess on treatment she was having so many checkups that it didn't matter. But now that the checkups are farther and fewer between, you have to have one to make sure that your heart and lungs and everything sound good and you're not sick to go under the anesthesia because she did actually have an issue one time under anesthesia where they listened to her, she had a cold, but they cleared her anyway. And then while she was under, she had a little trouble breathing and they had to give her some oxygen whenever she was under for her sedated um, LP. So otherwise, this kiddo is doing great. So we're just waiting to meet um, the nurse coordinator for the survivorship team. So we kind of do that smooth transition where we're only going every three or four months. So. We're excited for that. Are you excited to have officially yeah. ended your journey with the oncology part?
this is how high up we are, Lexi. We're all the way up on level seven. So this is what it looks like way up here. And just think, oncology is two floors above this. Well, Lexi is all finished. She did an awesome job today with her poke. That was one of the fastest it's ever been. Thanks to Mr. Tyler and the therapy dog, Casey. Um, we got to meet the new director of the leukemia and lymphoma section of clinic. Um, who took over for our other oncologist. If you remember, we said she was going to Chicago to be closer to her family and to work on clinical trials, which is pretty exciting. So we got to meet him for all of one appointment, and then we got to meet the survivorship clinic um, ladies. They have a really awesome nurse coordinator. They seem really nice. Um, they asked when the provider told us we should follow up. And I was like, well, we got conflicting answers. The new oncologist said he thought it was four months. The nurse practitioner said they thought it was every three months. She'd have to double check. So it's whatever you guys say. And she goes, well, normally, depending upon whether or not you're on study and there's specific protocols you have to follow, we recommend every six months at this point. So they went and checked and Lexi was not on study. She wasn't a part of any trials because she didn't qualify um, or have any of the things you needed to be on a trial like she was considered low risk. So she just followed a regular standard treatment protocol that had already been finalized. And so because of that, they said that she can just come every six months if we want. They said we could come sooner because we had every three months in our mind. But then she said every six months. And that's kind of like a little intimidating because you go from having these labs all the time and knowing uh, Lexi's blood counts to... Then we were doing once a month and then we were doing every two months and it was like this slow gradual process that we were getting used to because for an oncology family like you live and die by the labs the labs are the things that tell you when you can go places is your anc high enough or do you have no immune system it was the thing that told us whether or not she needed a blood transfusion or a platelet transfusion it was the thing that told us whether or not she was cleared for chemo on the following whatever day. I remember so many times waiting and waiting by the phone to see my MyChart update in the app and see if her labs were cleared for chemo and we'd be waiting by the phone for oncology team to call us and say, yes, yeah, she's been cleared for chemo or no, she has not been cleared for chemo. So you live and breathe and eat and sleep and it's labs, it's all about your labs. And so when you start spacing those out, it's um, can be anxiety inducing, let's just say. You no longer know those numbers when they're getting sick. Did her ANC go up? Did her numbers crash? You don't know. So I sat there for a minute and I'm like, geez, I have to choose. Do I want to go every three months or the recommended every six months? They said it's that parent's comfort level. And I just kind of looked at Lexi and I was like, you'd rather have one less poke, right? And she was like, yep. And I'm like, well, then that's it. I mean, if it's really just for our comfort level and it's not really serving any medically valid purpose other than to give me some peace of mind, which is totally okay, by the way, if that's the route somebody chooses, I just felt like it was easier to rip off the Band-Aid and just be like, let's do this. Because if I have to put Lexi through one less poke because she doesn't enjoy pokes, then we can do that. So they think she's doing great. We finally got her teeth scheduled. I think I updated you in the last clip. And we were able to um, talk a little bit about her therapy journey. And they've got more resources if we need them. So all in all, it was a great visit today. And Lexi, you did amazing. You're in such a good mood. And so now this girl gets her reward for having an amazing poke. She gets to go get some crazy bread because she is starving as she puts it so we have the lunch hour traffic drive across the river yep. and then by the time we get home she would barely have maybe an hour or two of school left so we usually just let her have the entire day this kiddo deserves it yeah so 
All right. What do you want to tell everyone, Lexi? Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload another video. Bye.